bruh, this whole quarantine thing is like real, man. I am not used to seeing my neighborhood like this. Usually around this time of the day, I wake up in the morning, I'll walk and jog like five miles and I'll do it again in the evening. I do like 10 miles a day. But on a normal day, you would see like kids playing in the streets. This is a real neighborhood, a family neighborhood. All the kids know each other, the parents know each other. It's surreal, man. It's, it's, it's unbelievable to see nobody in the streets, nobody outside. I got a crawfish bar barbecue neighborhood where everybody is like always on the weekends, like barbecuing or something. You don't even smell the smoke right now, bro. And that is strange. It's a basketball court that a lot of the kids go play at. Nobody is there. The tennis court. Nobody is there. The swimming pool. Nobody is there. I don't want our world to be like this, bro. Y'all got to take this quarantine seriously, man. Because this ain't the kind of life that we want, bro. To, to not see your neighbors, your family, your children can't go outside. The quicker we do what the experts are saying, the faster we get through this. I don't want to live in a world where I can't go to a movie. Where I can't take my lady out to a nice little restaurant or something, you know? It's crazy. You know it's bad when your kid's in the house asking, can they go to school? I'm listening to the, the doctors and the nurses in the hospital talking about how they don't have enough ventilators and they don't have enough beds. And here in New Orleans, they have taken our convention center and turned that thing into pretty much a hospital with beds everywhere. Man, we got to do what's right, man. Take this time. Stay in your house. I mean, you go jog or whatever like I do every morning. That's to myself, you know, but stay in your house. Ain't no sense of publicly conjugating, going to no stores if you don't necessarily need it. This thing is serious, y'all. I'm praying for y'all, bro, for your family, for real. Because for some people, it don't make sense until it hit home for them. And I would hate for you to have to experience what some people are already experiencing with sicknesses and deaths in their family man we can pull together we need to be patient we need to be smart i'm praying for y'all man